Hello everyone, this is AUR. Welcome back to my YouTube channel again. I hope you're doing well and staying safe in these hard times. I know the lockdown may be over for like almost everyone, but yeah. Just stay safe still because like the the thing is still going on, so yeah. I hope you're doing well. Uh, today we're going to be going back to our new thing that I started, that is ranking some songs but today i'm not going to be doing ncs songs and i'm not going to be like uh doing only just ranking instead what i'm going to do is like listen through all the songs that i'm going to be like ranking and also do kind of like a live review uh for these songs that i'm going to mention and review and rank so yeah today i've got like one LP from Ophelia Adventilia 5, or you can call it by the official name uh, Ophelia Advent Volume 5, and then we got the Octane uh, EP from Halcyon called the Chemical Catharsis, uh, and then we got the Skybreak EP from a Disciple called Moon Glow EP. So, yeah, I'm going to be going over all these three. And then like ranking them with this tier list. So last time I did Master Feeds of Banger, Fire Stuff, Vibe, Good Stuff, Decent. And then I called the last year Eh because uh, I didn't like the songs. But today I'm not going to be uh, just like least bit toxic. I'm just going to like end the toxicity here for the ranking community. I'm not going to be like oh nah I, this is this sucks this this is not my vibe or something like that like eh this song is eh or meh something like that so i'm just going to like put all the songs that i don't like in the not my vibe um uh category so yeah all right uh i think we're going to start with the advent adventilia 5 and then we're going to go through the Skybreak EP, and then I'm going to finish off with Octane's EP. So I have heard the teasers for the, Scri uh, the Skybreak EP and the Octane's EP. Uh, I'm really super excited to hear all these. And then I see some big names on the Ophelia's uh, Advent Volume 5. So yeah, I'm going to review that as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's right, j just dive into it and like start reviewing all this stuff. So yeah, alright, I'm just going to like select this folder, which is called like Ophelia Records Present Advent Volume 5. It's called EP, but like it has 8 songs, so it just basically becomes an LP. But yeah, uh, I'm seeing some big names on this one. I'm just going to like drag this here drag this here so i can see all the title and collaborators and everything so we've got starseed quaxon rhinox uh mad girl and dino shaddix then we have got like orange chicks cyber meggy york which is a vocalist modus mad tadius alan mock the boogie bandit and then we got abandoned and tadius again uh, with another feature uh, This is like a feature and I guess the, the meds one is like a collab like a, a Proper collab and not just a feature. So yeah, I'm really excited because like there's some of like my favorite vocalists on here like Maggie York and Tadius and also some of my favorite artists like Rhinox, Modus, Abandoned, Meds and Starseed and Orange Shirk. Yeah, these are all legends, so I'm just going to like start with the first song and then like go through all of these. All right, here we go. I'm going to play. Oh, this got a lot of bit interesting. The intro is really cool. I loved all the 
percussive elements coming in through uh, before this section that started a bit now. This is kind of, uh, I don't know, I did not expect something like this. I kind of expected something like a Reese coming in in like some atmosphere and stuff like that. But yeah, this just gets exciting in the first section, so yeah. I'm excited to hear what it has to offer. Don't like the snare here. The snare choice is kind of a bit weird, I, I suppose, because uh, it's like so damn uh, heavy in the section, which it shouldn't be, I suppose, because like I didn't think it's the drop section. But yeah, the vocals are really good in this one. I'm really loving the vocals and everything and the vibe of it overall. Uh, I don't like the snare choice in here, but yeah, the rest is good. Oh, we're going into the build-up! Ooh, side trance! Oh god, that hits so hard, so good! That was a really nice drop. The first part was really interesting and also kept me going. But like the second half of the drop kind of dropped down with the energy and everything and like the overall uh, vibe of it. It just kind of like slowed down for me. I don't know what's the word for it, but like it just felt like the first part of the first drop was really better than the second one. But yeah, I think I'm going to like expect a second drop. I suppose it's going to be melodic dubstep or something. Ooh, color base. That's a great change in pace of the overall song. I kind of expected to be have some kind of like a melodic dubstep or something like that, but it just blew my mind hearing something color bassy. So it felt like kind of like a mix up of the color bass and also melodic dubstep. I don't know what to make of it, but like, yeah, it's it's kind of like a cool thing. I did not expect that. I haven't heard anything like this before. Maybe from Modus, yeah, on the Rushdown compilations and stuff like that. Maybe something from uh, Vital Mode, I suppose. I don't know if Whitel Mode did melodic dubstep with like color bass or something like that, but having both the genres in just one drop, it's just so cool. Like the melodic dubstep saws and the color bass texture and synths and stuff like that all at once. It was a really good drop. It was certainly better than the first drop. I gotta give it that. Chance 
vocals feel like there's like a lot of room reverb and then some spacey reverb, which I find kind of weird having in a song like this. Because if it was something like a spacey reverb, like something Abandoned would do, or other melodic dubstep producers like that, uh, I would really love to hear that, but, but I guess it's fine. It's just like a unique, unique texture to the song overall with this vocal type reverb. So yeah, just moving on. That's just my thoughts on the vocal for now. Oh, I hear that Aaron Shirk lead coming in. Such a soothing experience for my ears. Oh. All right, we're done with the first track and the last drop was kind of like the second drop uh, but the last part of the last drop just blew my mind like for real this has to be one of the best side trans uh, transitions I've ever heard um, I was going to put the track in the second tier but Hearing that last bit of the Psytrance drop just made it feel so good. Like, it was such an amazing experience to have that drop heard. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to give it the masterpiece section just for the sake of that last drop and the last bit. Such an amazing song. YB overall a really brilliant atmosphere stereo imagining the production is really good like solid to be honest and also the elements used in all the drops the color base blend of melodic dubstep in color base and then in the second drop um, introducing the orange shirk lead um, that gives it a really plus point, point for me and then the first drop being an amazing side trans drop uh, the second part for the first drop as i say kind of felt a little bit underwhelming i guess that's the word for it but yeah the last bit of this song the, like the last part of the last drop is just mind-blowing i loved it and yeah a little bit short outro which I did not expect, I kind of expected like a little bit like a full on like 8 bars or 16 bars outro like something ambient piano-ish uh, but I guess uh, <laughs> for the length of the track I guess this works to have like a short in uh, outro so yeah also I didn't like the room reverb on the vocals but like the vocals are processed really good and also set the vibe for the tune overall so yeah a really great track to be honest it deserves the masterpiece here for me all right moving on to the second track uh, called arbitrary obituary or something like that obituary obituary i don't know what how it's spelled by Quaxon. Uh, I have never heard of this artist before. 
So yeah, I'm just going in blind with what the hell they make. So yeah, I hope they just surprise me with all they got. Alright. Starting in spooky or something like that. simple very minimalistic uh, drop design I have to say that it kind of feels like side trance but like slow down and the bass synth sounds kind of like side trancey uh, it's an interesting approach I can agree with that but the production feels a little bit muddy and jarry on the ears as well and the fills coming in are kind of not that good on my ears Now this part is really interesting and it really got me. I was kind of expecting something similar to the first drop which was really underwhelming and it didn't just swipe with me. But hearing the second drop it basically is like a step up for the song overall and also the vibe of the song just got better with it and we're like already more than halfway through so yeah. I'm going to like expect something crazy in the last bit. And also the tempo dropped down to a few dpm, I guess. I don't know, but yeah, I really love the I'm going slow and giving more of this gritty uh, texture. Yeah, I'm really loving it so far uh, for this second drop. Definitely an interesting track, to be honest. I didn't like it at first. I liked the atmosphere and the intro and everything. Uh, and then it went to like the first drop with like a side trance-ish bass patches with like a mid-tempo or down-tempo, I suppose. No, uh, the last drop is kind of like a down-tempo. But like the mid-tempo texture and everything and the BPM like that. It really felt uh, like something new to me, but the drop uh, mixing was not that good to like get it into it. Uh, I don't know why it was like not that good as compared to the second drop, which was really, 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 really good. I really enjoyed the slowing down to the down tempo uh, region of the BPM 
and then going grittier, grittier, and gnarlier over time with the base design, the base patch, and everything. It was a really cool addition, and also some laser shots coming in from, uh, from both sides, like left and right. Uh, <laughs> some white laser sound and stuff like that. So yeah, it, it definitely got interesting and more interesting as we went through. Last part, like it, I know it, was, it just went down to like a down tempo region, but sounded more like a rhythm-ish, like some old school impact kind of uh, rhythm because like of the uh, bouncy and like <laughs> mechanical bass going on and on and on and on stuff like that so yeah also i love the outro uh, how it like just fell down it like it collapsed uh, with like the bass and everything like that i'm just going to play the part again i really love this outro <laughs> really love the outro i think overall track was like really underwhelming and i wasn't liking it but then i heard the second drop and yeah you know you know it i was going to like put it in the not my wipe uh a section right here but like yeah it just changed my mind going to the second drop in the outro and stuff like that so yeah really good one all right moving on to the third song by Rhinox, Afraid to Love. I'm really excited to hear this one because I am really a big fan of the Rhinox sound design and everything. So yeah, uh, all right, let's dive into it. Starting it a little bit like underwater, filtered. Uh, Final cracks. Love the glitches. Yeah, that's definitely Roy right there, and like full flow. I'm loving it so far. I'm really expecting some top notch stuff in the drop, uh, judging by this verse section. I'm really expecting, I'm really, really, really expecting some dope ass drop and like huge sound design. So I Better not get disappointed. Alright, good luck coming in. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I have no comments. I have no comments. I have no comments. This is lit. This is lit. Okay, so some melodic dubstep, again, with like a mix of uh, melodic rhythm this time, which is really cool. Love that LFO.
such a cool builder. I'm loving it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I have no words. It's ending like it started. Yeah, underwater effect, filtered and stuff. Massive track, massive track, massive shout out to Rhinox for making this banger. Absolutely belongs to matter masterpiece section. I don't know, I have no words. Like, I don't find anything this wrong. Maybe it's not the best Rhinox song that I've heard, but totally up there in like the top 10. And he has so many good tracks that I cannot even like begin to think where to place this. His number one, his number two, three, four, five, I don't know. He's just a legend. Legend, indeed. Big salute, big salute to my man Roy. Also, uh, a little producer tip from Rhinox, the man himself. In the NCS server, I asked, uh, I asked how he made the base patches for like the glitchy, uh, rhythmy or bro step ish uh, bases that he does as fills in the drops. And he basically did a whole drop with those bases in the Remedy remix, uh, which he did uh, for Context and Vaughn as the as the remix winner. And what he told me was like he just plays with like saw waves and stuff like that, like just basic shapes from Serum or any synth or stuff like that, or maybe some bass patches that are made with like saw synths and stuff like that, or any bass patch that has like a consistent uh, uh, note going on and on and on, uh, so like uh, a sustained bass or something like that. Maybe you can use other one shots as well. So, what he basically does is like um, he slams a portal on it, portal by output, um, which is a really cool granular synthesis plugin. So, what he does is he basically just uh, records everything that he changes in the portal so he's he's like playing this one note of a bass and then he goes over to the portal and like starts playing around with the knobs here and there and uh, also records everything that is going on uh, with there so he's basically just like changing knobs from here and there and here and there and the recording is uh, recording everything uh, that he makes and then like he picks up his favorite sections from the whole recording and then like process it a little bit more to make those glitchy bases and stuff like that so yeah if you didn't know that uh here's this tip it's basically just free because like he dropped it in the ncs main channel the general chat uh like a few months ago and so yeah it's not classified information or anything like that but yeah i had to mention if anyone was like wondering all right, moving on, we have Mad Girl and Dino Shaddix, Mad Headbang. All right, new artists to me. I don't know them, so I'm definitely going blind again. All right, here we go.
love the addition of like a hard style kick or raw style kick in there. Yeah, interesting intro and worth. <laughs> Production is kind of a bit jarring on the ears, even in the intro and worst section. Yeah, let's see where it goes. I'm expecting some rhythm uh, drop or something like that. Build up's good. Oh god, this is so gnarly and good. Raw style, yeah. Great stuff. Production is not that massive. I'm not a fan of this uh, production level. But yeah, the vibe is just so mad. I mean, it's the song title is Mad Headbang, so yeah. People are definitely going to be mad headbanging in the festivals and stuff like that. This is really just like a festival song. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. I told you I was expecting a Britim drop. I had no idea. I haven't heard the teaser or anything for this song. I just felt like it had some Britim drop. And here we go. This section is good. This is basically just like copying Laser Beam by Ray Volpe. I also think like the sound design for the Britain Drop is kind of inspired by Ray Volpe. Uh, I don't know how I expected the Britain Drop in like the intro and worst section. But I really did expect something that should be sounding like a Ray Volpe and something uh, with the likes of uh, um, Excision, yeah, I suppose. And yeah, it just delivered what I wanted. But the production, again, is not that massive. So I'm not feeling the drops that much. They are good, but... The production is just not allowing that energy to come in through with like a clean energy and st uh, stuff like that. So yeah, moving on. Love the LFO on there as a transition, and now the key changes.
<clears throat> Interesting outro. I like the spooky vibes in there. So for the song, uh, it felt a little bit like a copycat of uh, most of the Ray Volpe songs. The first drop rhythm section uh, was kind of uh, like sounding like inspired by Ray Volpe, and the second drop was just basically just like a full-on copy of Laser Beam by Ray Volpe. Um, I love the raw style um, addition to these drops because uh, I even heard the kick of raw style in the first section but I did not expect the drop to go in raw style um, uh, the genre yeah um, but aside that the production was not that good and was kind of like jarring on the ears at some points in the drop um, and also the outro and intro were like some jarring sounds on the ears it was it kind of felt like a rushed production uh, so yeah but yeah I like the head banging aspect of it it would really go crazy in like the festivals and something like that but uh, in my opinion it just belongs to this uh, I don't know if I should put in not my why because like I enjoyed some stuff a bit so yeah I'm just going to like put in the good stuff uh, category okay so the lights just went out and I have to like enable the battery saver, saver I hope the laptop doesn't die as I'm doing the video so yeah just moving on I'm just going to be like a little bit quicker with this because like I cannot charge my laptop as I go on maybe I have to even leave like an EP or something but yeah let's hope that doesn't happen all right moving on we have modus no return reboot uh, all right I'm a big fan of modus on rushdown really good stuff really got product uh, really good production and and has like some really quality mixing skills and mastering skills so yeah I'm really expecting something really hyped and really good so yeah uh, let's dive into it already loving the intro kind of reminds me of this silent uh, we are dust album I mean I have talked to Paul uh, about these silent uh, albums and sound design he he is certainly uh, a fan of uh, Xylent, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I'm really expecting some futuristic, future rhythm or color bassy or future dubstep vibes in this one. So yeah, just moving on. Let's go. I love the vocoder on it really cool vibe with the vocoder are going on yeah it's really giving me the we are dust album vibes I'm loving it so far and I'm really expecting something really sci-fi ish even the vocal processing is like the same as Xylent did uh, in the VR Dust. Oh come on, come on with the massive orchestral section in here with like some electronic vibes this is definitely inspired by silent we are dust i have to bet this like i bet this is inspired by silent we are dust if this is not i'm just really going to be disappointed in my like expectations and everything from every artist but i really hope this this is inspired by silent we are dust so yeah
Big wipes, big wipes. Ah, color base kicking in. Yeah, just classic Moda stack with the color base sound design he does. Such a classic. I really would have loved if these uh, one shot sample that is coming in with like the color based tone had something layered that was really melodic and like glitchy or uh, lasery sound. But yeah, it's good so far. I'm really loving it. Loving the transitions and everything. This is huge. Huge stack, huge stack. I'm loving it. It's so clean. Oh, oh no, oh no. Are we done with the drops? No. I wanted more. I'm left speechless with this outro, this atmosphere and everything. I really wanted to hear something silent again. I mean, we get the 8-bit vibes and everything from Tokyo Machine as the second alias. Please don't cancel me or anything. I'm just you know, saying it, you know. But yeah, I was really craving for another silent album. But hearing this, I... I can wait more. I can wait more. This is such a vibe. This has to be my favorite so far. It definitely deserves the masterpiece here. Absolutely amazing, mind blowing stuff. The atmosphere, the uh, sci fi, the post apocalyptic vibe of it. Uh, it's It's gotta be inspired by Zalan's We Are Dust. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. I. I have to believe that it is, and it should be. So yeah, Masterpiece, my favorite so far. 
I honestly expected something really big and Modus delivered. As I said, Modus is just like a mixing and mastering master and also setting the atmosphere and everything. I'm really proud of Modus. Big shout out to Paul. Really cool. All right, moving on to Metz and Tedious, one of my favorite vocalists uh, in the today's melodic bass or melodic dubstep scene. Metz, uh, I have also heard of and maybe heard some songs of theirs. Uh, but yeah, Tedious, I'm really excited for this one as well as the last one. I don't know Alan Mock and the Bogey Bandit, but yeah, we'll give it a go. All right. Uh, Meds and Tedious, light. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Yeah, this is a classic Ophelia intro. This is what we want on Ophelia. Here comes our boy Tedious. Oh my god, such an amazing vocal. I love this guy for what he does because, like, just hearing this vocal anywhere. I can tell it's him. Homie, 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 Tedious, you are the best. You're amazing. Your vocal performance is just top the charts. And yeah, I'm really loving it so far. This is just such a classic Tedious vocal moment. I really hope there's like a big drop or something to like save this song for the masterpiece section. I really want it to be like big. All the things we said Loving the top line for the vocal melody, the uh, side vocals, or maybe uh, you can say the top layer for the vocals, or melodies, or I forgot the other word for these side melodies. The vocals have to do like going something like a fifth or a seventh or something like that. Such a cool topping on the vocal. I'm loving it. Production is also so nice and soothing. Big, big, big melodic bass banger. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. This is such a good vibe. This has to go down is one of the classic melodic bass songs of all time, like this decade. It has to, it has to, it has to, it has the potential to be like the number one melodic bass song in like this year or this, um, this decade. It really has such a cool and soothing and masterpiece vibe for this, from this one.
Damn, I wish I could do something like this. I really want to do something like this. Loving it. Going to pause this right here in just for a moment. All right, we're back. Moving on. Yeah, absolutely. Great vocal performance. The production is well-rounded, well-produced, well-executed ideas. Some really huge vibes from this one. I really thought my masterpiece section would be like just one or two songs, but god damn, this LP is something else. I haven't heard an Ophelia LP this packed with like bangers and stuff, and I still have to go through two more songs. So yeah, big shout out to Taddeus, my homie. I'm really loving the fact that some people that I know on Discord, like Arnshik, Rhinox, Modus, uh, Taddeus, Abandoned, really getting the recognition they deserve on big labels like Ophelia, NCS, Monster Cat, and other labels like that. So yeah, I hope they all end up with some amazing future ahead of them. Uh, of course, the other artists as well that are mentioned in this, and of course, all the artists in the world that that are striving for the best, uh, to make the best use of their abilities to make some banger stuff. So yeah, I really want the best for all of you who are watching this video as well. Moving on to the next one, we have Alan Mock. We have Alan Mock and The Boogie Bandit. Serious. All right, let's go. I'm going in blindly with this one as well. I don't know any of the artists. Build up snare sounds a bit out of key for some reason to my ears. Harsh on the airs, hybrid trap stuff, drop. I'm really loving the effects used overall in the song, the intro, and stuff like that. There was some like wobbly, uh, mechanical, sci fi ish sounds going on there, which were really good. But like the drop is not that well produced so far. I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling it at all. <laughs>
loving the vocal chops. So some kind of like a hyper trap and future bass sounds in here but still like I'm not big fan of that production level it's just like distorted sounds all over the place the flow is good but the sounds the production the sound design the choice of things is just basic and really doesn't um, resonate resonate with me Personally, some people might find it uh, really good, maybe even like their banger, headbanger material, but for me, this one does not have that. Love the brace shot in here, cool addition. Overall, the drops were kind of empty. Third drop. The <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional, but I love the meme sound effects used in there as like a stab. Fuck. Switch. Yeah, the switch was really good so far and it is sounding good but like again the production and the jarring on airs frequencies and stuff like that and like the distorted feeling of the overall drop and synths and stuff like that it just not i'm just not feeling it that much so yeah i'm going to have to pass on the production side of things and also the sound choice yeah, the switch up was really good with the flow and everything. Okay. Going in some trap, shall we? Alright, yeah, those are my thoughts on this song. I'm not really feeling it, so it's, it's just going to be in the not my wife category for me. Uh, so, yeah, moving on to the last song. I'm really excited for Abandoned featuring Tedious again. Uh, pas passengers. I'm excited for this one and where it goes. Cool start. Loving the reversed crystally bell sound is. I don't know if I go on without you. Sitting... I love how Tedious uses his vocals to sort of make some ambience panned. Uh, vocal textures I really love how he does that in most of his collabs I have heard a lot of Tadius songs on Ophelia uh, I suppose uh, I don't know if he's on Ophelia before because I don't follow the label that much but he has some songs uh, with like Gazing Skies he has a collab with the uh, uh, Cold, which is also a community member from a melodic bass or melodic dubstep community uh, run by Richard um, Raglini or, uh, or something like that. I forgot his name, but yeah, he goes by the artist named Dark Cloud, who also had like the abandoned collab recently. 
a huge shout out to my homie Dark Cloud, really amazing producer, one of my favorite melodic dubstep producers, and I really hope to make some huge stacks and uh, songs like he does. So yeah, well, moving on with this one, Abandoned. Uh, the atmosphere so far is really good and I'm loving it. So yeah, let's go ahead and have more listen. I'm sorry if you hear some like shouting and stuff like that in the background. My grandma just wants to sleep, but I cannot abandon my video for the abandoned song. Uh, yeah, moving on. Uh, wait a minute. Are we back? not hearing the drop synths and stuff like that so it's really unusual for me to have uh, to hear this kind of build up in an abandoned song because usually like uh, they use the drop sounds and synths uh, and stuff like that filter in with the build up so it's like really unique one for me so far so yeah let's see where this goes melodic bass or something else This is just huge, abandoned music. Yeah, I'm really loving it. This is what I expected and what I get. Loving the viola cello thing, the cello or viola, I don't know what's that, I suppose it's like cello, but like on some higher octaves. Atmosphere is stunning. Using the same uh, orchestral vocal layering of the female voice as they did in the Goodbye cover for Arcane, which is one of the best covers I have ever heard in my life for any song and it's got to be like number one cover for me and also the best melodic dubstep song for me this year so far so I'm really uh, hoping this one becomes my number one so far or the Rhinox one or the Modus one but like the Modus one is like color base and melodic dubstep both so yeah let's let's see <laughs>
they're really going uh, ambient with the build-ups before the drops, and I like the, that idea. I might have to like copy this idea for my songs, some of my songs, melodic dubstep or melodic bass, whatever it's doing. I really love the idea of like not teasing the drop and like going full ambient with like some softy build-up drums. Uh, and yeah, I'm kind of speaking low because like I have nowhere to go. I literally have to like change rooms to record vids or work on my stuff because like I got this crazy family that just doesn't want me to do anything music related. So yeah, I'm just struggling with everything in my life at the moment, but I will keep doing what I do and I appreciate your support. Loving the lab's soft piano in there, the atmosphere and everything abandoned just ceases to, like, I don't know how to spell it, like, he just ceases to provide with something generic and um, something to be expected or something that someone cannot enjoy that much. And they just deliver the best they can with each and every song they put out. Shout out to Shyan and Hamid. You you both are like crazy good. I don't know what to say more, to be honest. You guys deserve the most attention in the melodic bass community. Absolutely top-notch stuff from both of you. The drops in here were like crazy good. The vocal performance, amazing. Um, and overall, like really solid melodic dubs of track. Like 10 out of 10. Production, atmosphere, drops, energy, emotions, vocals, orchestral, cinematic experience, and stuff like that. All the layering of glitchy, twinkly bits, the layering of vocals harmonies and some other elements the percussion and everything is like solid in this one and the outro is going to be stunning literally stunning because i love the lab's piano <laughs> Yeah, absolutely deserves the masterpiece. As I said, I did not expect this album to have such crazy amount of great songs that I could like cherish for my life or enjoy a lot. So yeah, there it is, my thoughts on the Ophelia Advent Volume 5 or Adventelia 5 album or LP, or whatever you want to call it. And I might have to like end my video here because it's like past 12 a.m. And my grandma is literally like pissed off. So I hope I did the justice with the ranking and reviewing the songs in real time. And I hope you enjoy it as well. Um, and yeah, again, I did not expect these bangers to come in through uh you might think i'm like doing some 
injustice for the artists that I don't know, like Alan Mark, the Boogie Bandit, a Mad Girl, Dino Shaddix, or Quaxum. But, like, their style, their songs, and stuff like that, like, they really didn't resonate with me that much. Like, I loved the Quaxum song, like, the switch up for the second drop in here. The Mad Girl and Dino Shandix, the Mad Head Bank song, also had, like, the copycat structure of the uh, Ray Ball P uh, kind of songs. Britam, uh, with like raw style. So yeah, I love the raw style section in there. But for the serious song, I was not feeling that much of it. So I, uh, it's just not my vibe, as I said. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to end this video here, and I will continue ranking the other songs uh, tomorrow from the. Octane EP and the Skybreak EP as well. So yeah, see ya, take care, and have an amazing day.